this will be the way for the rest of the year. There'll be a presentation, and then there'll be an assignment, and there'll be a lab, and there'll be an essay, and there'll be a this thing and a that thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, this is the second time I've not done my work. Yes, okay. I think there are two chances in the whole semester. <laughs> well, you've already used two of them, <laughs> there's three. Adnan, any special reason? This is not good, is it? I mean, yeah, I, what do you I think? Mean, what do you think the consequences of not doing your homework will that lead to success or to failure? failure yeah. yeah. So you understand this, don't you? Yeah. And you understand that you didn't do your homework. Yeah. So if you put the two together, this means you're on the path to failure. Yeah. And is this the path you want to be on? No. No. Okay. So if you want to succeed, you need to do your homework. It's very important. Okay. Right. Well, let's do it now. So the first one. Uh, what's the first question, please? A man holds a block over a smooth surface. Yep. Surface. The rock he is using to pull the block is at an angle of 45 foot to the ground. The block is a uh, mass 100 kilogram and the tension in the, in the rope is 100 newton. What is the value of the reaction force between the block and the ground? Okay, so we have 100 cos 45 and 100 sine 45. And here is 100 G. Okay. Yeah. So, um, oh, I'm sorry, and also, of course, or. Uh, yeah. So the up force equals the down force, or plus 100 sine 45, that should equal 100 G. 100 G. So, or equals 100 G minus 100 sine 45, so you need to type in 100, 9.81 minus 100 over square root 2. What's that then? Oh, this is a little bit. Oh, that's, 100. that's the sine 45 part. Okay, 9, 10? Yes, 9, 10.3. What'd you get? 9, 10.3. 9, 10.3. Yeah. Okay, so it's 910. Yeah. yeah. Right, number two. A woman pulled uh, a 100. <coughs> a woman pulled a 100 kilogram block over over a rope surface at a constant speed. The rope she is using makes a makes an angle of 30 degrees with the ground, and the tension in the rope is 200 newton. What is the value of the friction force? Okay, so this time we have 200 sine 30. This one here is 200 cos 30. This one here is 100 g. And then here is what's here? Is that the door? Yes. 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 Okay, so we have no reaction force going up. And what else do I leave out here? There's one other force. Yeah, no, that's this one here. Friction. Oh, yeah. Friction. Right, so now we have R plus 200 sine 30 equals 100 G. But I don't, do I need the or in this question? Or do I just ask for the friction? Design for the friction? So what does the friction equal? In the diagram? Should it equal to 200 cos 30? 200 cos 30. Yeah. So that will be... Uh, no. 200 cos 30, yeah? I got 173. Mm -hmm. 173. Yeah. What went wrong for you? I probably did 45. Or okay. Yeah. No, nope, not 45 either. No. Okay. I don't, <laughs> know, what I I don't know what I did. Okay. No. Okay, number three now. A one one pulls a one a one hundred kilogram block over a rough surface. The rope she is using makes an angle of of thirty. Mm -hmm. uh, with the ground
from the detention in the rope is 200 newton, the friction force is one, one tenth the reaction force ah. and the acceleration of the blood. So this one's a bit interesting because here I said that you have a reaction force and here What did I say the friction force was? I said it was one tenth of the reaction force. First one, yeah, that's it, that's it. So you have R plus 200 sine 30 equals 100 G. So <coughs> R equals 100 G minus 200 sine 30. That is 881 newtons. So then the friction force, which is one tenth or is 88.1 newtons. Okay. If it's down, it will go in the multiplication. Hmm. Oh well, or divided by 10, or multiply one over 10. Oh. So you get the same answer. Yeah. yeah. Our equation says that it's at a constant speed. Does that make sense? Yeah, it means that the forces are all balanced. So, uh, E added means that the up force equals the down and the left force equals the right. Yeah. Okay, four. A 45 kilogram woman is sitting on a helicopter that is about to take off. The helicopter takes off with acceleration of 5 meters per second squared. Pause. Okay, there's the woman of 45 kilograms. Uh, and the helicopter takes off at five acceleration of 5 meters per second squared. What is the reaction force between her and the team? Great. <coughs> so, here there's a weight of 45 G and a reaction force here of four. Are these forces balanced? Why or why not? Are they equal forces? No, because it's fine. It's fine off. So which is bigger? No. Or so what is the total force? R minus. R minus forty five G. But what's Newton's second law telling us about force? What's force F equals to F equals to M A. So M is forty five a is 5, or we want G is 9.81, so we can get R easily. R is going to be 666 newtons. Okay, last question now. Five. A 70 kilogram man is standing on a scale on a scale in a <coughs> an elevator. It takes it takes the elevator four seconds to move to move up one floor, a distance of five meters. What does the the scale say? The okay. So it takes them four seconds. And uh, what's the distance, sorry? Uh, five meters. And we assume the elevator starts at rest. So we can easily calculate the acceleration. What formula can I use to get the A here? If I have UTS, what could I use? 2 S equals UT plus a half AT squared. S equals UT plus a half AT squared, yeah. S equals UT plus a half A T squared. So A is equal to 5 over 8 meters per second squared. Alright, so what are the forces on the man? There are exactly two forces. What are they? What are the two forces on the man? What is or and what is 75G. Yeah. Which is bigger? 75. Nope. Uh, the R. 
because it's going up in the elevator. So the total force is R minus 75G. Not given. Um, what? <laughs> Come on. You could see this moving. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, so the R. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So the force, you know the formula for forces. What is it? Uh, MA. MA, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And what's the M? Well, which is 75. And the A? 5 over 8. Plus 75G equals R. So what did you get for R? 7, 8, we'll say 3 Newtons. Now, if the man was not moving, what should the R equal if it's not moving? So it should equal 75G, shouldn't it? Which is 735 Newtons. So this is the R when it's moving, and this is the R when it's not moving, which is at rest. Do you know how to get the percentage difference? No. Ah, come on. Your middle school teacher will be so <laughs> sad now. <laughs> 783 minus 735 over... No. Um, uh, over 735 times 100. I will. So the percentage is 783 minus 735 over 735 times 100, which is 6.5%. So his reaction force is 6.5% stronger. That means the weight scale thinks he's 6.5% heavier. So instead of reporting 75 kilograms, the weighing scale will report an extra 6.5, which is 79.9 kilograms. So when the elevator is moving up, the weighing scale thinks it's 79.9 kilograms instead. Why are you using 735 in division? Middle school teacher, I'm sure, is crying at home <laughs> right now if, if they could hear this. Uh, so when you have two numbers, A going to B, and you want the percentage change, um, it's the difference between them. So let's say A is, let's say B is bigger, like in one way. <coughs> so it's the difference between them divided by the original times 100. Does it bring back fond yeah. memories of... Uh, yeah. Okay, can I go back to the main question then? Yep. Uh, 75 increased by six and a half percent. And you remember the trick I told you last week on how to increase a number by a percentage quickly? What did I multiply this by? Uh, no, no. no, no, no. 1.065. Do you remember this? Yes. Yeah. No. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I remember I said 1.10 makes it 10% bigger and 0 0.90 makes it 10% less. less. So, okay, what? I remember this, but how much percentage are we? Here! Ah. <laughs> yes? Yeah? Okay. Was that the last question then? Yeah. Great, 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 great.